people worry about turbulence inside clouds. That's not the air pilots really respect. The most dangerous air is left behind by another airplane. When a large aircraft flies, it leaves behind rotating columns of air called wingtip vortices. They're invisible, they sink, and they can persist for minutes. This isn't random turbulence. It's organized, powerful airflow created by lift itself. A heavy aircraft generates enormous lift. That lift rolls the air behind it into tight, rotating spirals. If a smaller aircraft flies into one of those vortices, it can experience sudden, uncommanded roll. Control authority may be temporarily overwhelmed. The aircraft can be forced sharply off attitude. This isn't theory, it's physics. That's why wake turbulence spacing exists. At major airports, smaller aircraft may be held minutes behind larger ones. Arrivals are deliberately slowed, takeoffs are sequenced carefully. The delay isn't inefficiency. It's airspace waiting to become safe again. So here's the uncomfortable thought. The most dangerous air you'll ever fly through isn't weather. It's another airplane's wake. Should airports increase spacing even more? Or do passengers already underestimate how much safety margin exists?